Good morning and praise the Lord for this brand new day. And the Lord's mercy has brought us to this day that we may experience his love and mercies and his strength to live an overcoming victorious life. And may the Lord enable us. He has given us all the provisions. Praise God. For today's meditation, I would like to read from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 11, verses 28 to 30. It says here, these are the words of Jesus. Jesus is giving a great invitation to the people, to the listeners. He says, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Now I would like to pass on to you this morning, before you begin your day's activities, a few lessons from the yoke. Now, first of all, the oxen are brought not from the same house or they are not even born to the same mother. They are brought from different background and from different places. But trained to work together. Now, listen this very carefully. Train to work together in harmony. So that is the first thing I want you to pass on to you. These yokes and two yokes and are needed and uh, for, for, for the for the okay the second truth the second lesson I want you to learn is their walk is different from the other oxen. Now the two cannot walk in different directions because only one yoke and there are two oxen. And so if both the oxen are chose, uh, ch uh, will choose uh, its own direction, then the purpose will not be accomplished. And, uh, and so that's why the two oxen cannot walk in different directions. They have to walk together and keep a certain rhythm. And they have to take their steps together because they both are engaged in one single work, purpose. That is why, though there are two oxen, they cannot function independently. The one oxen has to work in coordination with the other. That is very important for the work to be accomplished. And the third lesson is, since the plow is behind the oxen, the oxen will have to be careful about the way they walk. And that is very important too. And remember what we are thinking about. We are thinking about Jesus' word. Take my yoke upon. That means there is Jesus and there is you. And no, that is one thing. Secondly, there are two Christians and both of them must have a one controlling factor, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, so keep that thing in mind. Since the plow is behind the oxen, they have to be very careful about the way they walk. If they go faster, carelessly, here and there, 
it is possible for the blade from uh, uh, from behind to cut their legs and hurt them always remember that uh, jesus is teaching us these lessons that we may walk with the lord that will bring forth tremendous success and victory and a fruit for life and useful life that is why they cannot they the both of both the oxen has to have the same kind of speed and otherwise it is the oxen that will be hurt and damaged not the yak so keep that thing in mind and fourthly the animals under the yak get used to certain sounds and signals of the master for every move whether turn to left or right go slow or fast or stop the master gives a certain sound or signal very important so the oxen has to be trained and in that that training includes getting used to not only the sound but also what each sound and signal is meant for what they whether they are to turn to right or left or go faster or slow the the master send out the signal and sound and the oxen has to be used to it in order to keep the pace and complete the work successfully now the animals are used to these sounds and they obey are we used to the voice of the spirit as christians there is a lesson that jesus is teaching his followers and the holy spirit is given to us that we may live in harmony with jesus christ the lord it is his will to know his will and it to know his way and to know his plans and his desires for us all the blessed holy spirit will enable us to understand and so these are the lesson keep these lessons in 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 your mind and live your daily life accordingly remember this lesson these two oxen are brought from two different places and background but they are taught to work together in harmony and number 2 their walk is to be different from the other oxen because these two cannot to walk in different directions number 2 number 3 and the the plow remember is behind the oxen and so if each of these two oxen take their own decision and uh, keep it their own uh, speed and then there is will be uh, accident can happen the oxen can uh, hurt uh, themselves by doing it and when we are yoked with jesus christ joined to jesus christ remember to walk in harmony with the spirit of god so that we will not be hurt when we go stubborn when we go disobedient when we go in our own way we take our own decisions then the danger will be upon ourselves not on the lord the lord is grieved the holy spirit is grieved of course but then you are hurt and you will be lost let it not happen 
keep in harmony with Jesus and walk together in with the same rhythm of the spirit of God and let the spirit of God guide you and you be sensitive to the holy spirit direction he is given to us that he may lead us he may guide us and he may help us thank god and the holy spirit we thank you that you are there for to help us you are given to us that we may be blessed with a teacher with a guide with a helper with the 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 strengthening us and we thank you lord we depend on you thank you in jesus name amen god's blessing be upon you and may the lord guide you through this day this is a great day enjoy it and be victorious amen